Now, before I start this video, I just wanted to ask you guys if this video helps you in any way, please hit that like button. It really helps my video get more engagement and rank it higher in the YouTube search algorithm. Let's go. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Need for Beats over here bringing you guys another Valorant settings video. This one is requested by Hero from my previous Valorant optimization video where I talked about disabling Windows 10 VSync and all that good stuff. In this video, I'll be giving you guys the best settings for Windows, Nvidia, and Valorant to get the most amount of FPS and the least amount of input lag. So without wasting your time, let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is optimize Windows. Go to search, type in settings, and you should see this window right here. Go to display, um, go to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, monitor, make sure this is set to the highest one on your actual gaming one. Honestly, for both of them, it should be set to the highest refresh possible. A lot of times people get new displays, never set the setting, and they're not playing at their full potential. So the next thing you wanna do is go to power and sleep, go to additional power settings, set it to ultimate performance. If you don't have that option enabled, you can use this, this command in the description below. Just type in CMD, like this, control V, enter, and then when you restart, you should have ultimate performance. Um, other than that, let's go back into settings type in game, game mode settings, make sure that is set off. Then also go to Xbox game bar, turn that off. Captures, turn that off. 30 minutes off, 30 FPS standard. And that is about it. So I think other than that, we're done with Windows. There's a few other things you can do and you can do registry edits, but I don't recommend doing registry edits. Honestly, you're not gonna get that much of a benefit, so don't bother with that. So let's get into our NVIDIA settings. So this, mine are set to the highest quality because I record videos, but this one's gonna be for the highest performance. Click program settings, add, find your game, for me, it's gonna be in C, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binary, 64. Select this option. All right, so now here, image sharpening, I'm gonna turn that off. Anisotropic filtering. Valorant, you do have this setting, anisotropic filtering, but it only goes down to one X, so you can't actually turn it off. So what we're gonna do is set this to off via NVIDIA, that way, uh, it's actually going to override Valorant's settings. For anti-aliasing mode, if you look at our Valorant graphics settings here, um, anti-aliasing, we can turn off. It's set to on right now, but we are able to turn off. And if you look at the bottom here, application controllers are recommended for programs with built-in anti-aliasing settings. It's just going to help your optimization if you let the application controller, because this way NVIDIA doesn't have to override the application, maybe cause some lag. So NTLC transparency off, QDA GPUs all, low latency mode. This one, there's a lot of debate about. Honestly, I like Ultra. So Ultra will prioritize latency by fully minimizing queued frames. Honestly, you can leave it either on or Ultra. You can mess with this setting if you are not super happy with, with the settings I'm gonna give you. But for me, for example, with an RTX 2070 Super, Ultra seems to work. Max frame rate, make sure this is off. Multi-frame sampled. Um, use global setting, we're gonna use that off. Open GL rendering GPU, that's your GPU. Management mode, maximum performance. Refresh rate, this is gonna be application control. I suggest you leave it application control, not highest available, because there's some issues with when it becomes with Windows overriding the vSync and stuff. So it's actually kind of important that you leave it application controlled. Shader cache off. Now, as you see on the bottom, enabling the cache reduces stutters and improves load time. So if you for some reason get some stutters, maybe your CPU is bottlenecking you, then turn shader cache on. It's just gonna use a little bit of hard drive space. So let's say you have a really fast SSD or an M.2 SSD, you'd be fine with leaving it on. But for me, disabling it is just fine. So texture filtering and it's a tropic sample. That's just some effects. We don't want that, turn that off. LOD bias, so you allow for higher performance. See, so that's actually, if you hover over it, set allow for higher performance. So we're actually gonna allow it for higher performance. <laughs> texture filtering quality, set on for higher performance. Texture filtering, trial linear optimization, set on for higher performance, on. Thread optimization, the correct option for this one is auto because we have that exact setting in Valorant. Multi-threaded rendering, that is the exact same thing. Triple buffering, turning on this setting improves performance. 
when the vertical sync is also turned on. In my case, I actually do have vSync on. In the previous video, I explained exactly why. That's why we have triple buffering on because it actually improves performance when vsync on. Now we don't have the default vsync, we have the fast vsync. So what that's gonna do, so fast will, GPU renders unconstrained, similar to vsync off, but does not tear because frames in excess just get dropped. Delivers latency that is very close to vsync off with no tearing. With the way Windows works and the way it forces vsync on you, by setting into fast, that's how you're able to essentially override Windows's vsync because it won't take an application with absolutely no vsync for some reason it will just slap on windows 10 dwm vsync on it which is really slow and just you know windows vsync is not optimized for gaming so what you want to do is actually put it to fast and that way it's going to be a lot lower input lag and higher performance trust me virtual reality this doesn't really matter use application settings once that is all correct we have one more thing to do hit apply all right Go to where your actual application is. Again, C, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Binary 64, right click, Properties, Compatibility, Disable Full Screen Optimizations, make sure that's checked. Run this program as administrator, make sure that's checked. Change high DPS settings, check both of these. Okay, and okay, you can also change settings for all users, but if you just have one user, then just leave it alone. Click OK, and now let's go ahead and fire up Valorant. If you actually, uh, run it through this exe it won't let you do it the way you want to do it is run it through the shortcut run as administrator that's how you want to start valorant if you just double click it not as admin you're going to get an error so make sure you right click start as admin the actual shortcut all right guys now we're in valorant so let's go over the best settings inside the actual game go to video and general display mode make sure that's set to full screen hit apply now when you apply it and it's in full screen you want to test to make sure it's in full screen exclusive mode what that means is when you alt tab out of the application, it should minimize and your desktop should come up. Other windows should not be overlaid over Valorant. So when you alt tab, you can have YouTube or Discord running with Valorant in the background because that means that Valorant is not really in full screen mode. It's actually in windowed full screen mode, right? So I have a bunch of videos on that, but that's a different topic, but make sure it's in full screen and full screen exclusive. Uh, resolution, set it to the highest possible. Select your display. And for graphics quality, if you have more than four cores, turn that to on. Um, materials and textures and stuff, everything to low, off and off, anti-aliasing none. And this atropic filter is gonna be 1x. It doesn't really matter because we overrode that in our NVIDIA settings, set everything here to off. Uh, you can also enable stats, everything text only, so that you kind of see how much FPS you're getting. So if you look at the top left right now for me, I'm getting 556 FPS, 1.8 millisecond frame time. Sometimes peaking like 600 for a second there, but that's uh, really it. You should have plenty of FPS higher than your monitor's refresh rate. Now, if for some reason you're not getting the FPS you want, you can lower the resolution. Lowering the resolution is not going to make it any, uh, it's not going to make you see any less. It's not going to reduce your FOV or anything like this. So if you have a 16 by 9 monitor, like 1920 by 1080, you can lower it to 1600 by 900. And if we hit apply, now we have lower resolution, but... Uh, for us, see, the FPS didn't really go up. Uh, we already have so much FPS, it's not the resolution that's bottlenecking us. At this point, I believe it's CPU or RAM probably. But for you guys, if you're struggling with FPS, turning down the resolution is actually going to really help you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments section below. Need for Beans, out. Peace! You're